Eshlu amashar munistar khusus bagim no praise dia bashem ya shar bashem ka kudash the belongs to the apostles of GMS and all those two brothers doing the work in truth was sincerity this is a quick one on uh, uh, basically this uh, phrase hey what's in the name I came across it last week and it was an RT title um, uh, headline with this title on earlier on today and you know it basically got me thinking it says you know what's in the name we're now depending on, on the name when the individual who the name is what is salvation right because you you, you 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 know if it's the name of the lord right the name of his son that's salvation pursuant to acts 4 and 12 it says neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under he- under under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved right you know that means the name of the lord is important and you jump over to proverbs 30 and 4 says who hath ascended up into heaven or descended who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? What if thou canst tell? Right? And that's part of the mystery. Right? But the Lord has revealed his, his mystery to his servants, the prophets. Right? Is Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And that's one of the things that the Most High wants us to know, and that's his name. And, you know, the name of the Most High is Yahweh, Yahweh, Y-A-H-A-W-A-H, right? And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, Y-A-H-A-W, uh, in fact, let me type it in. Y A H A W A S H I, right? You know, so those those names are you know are important. You know, as we, as we literally just read, right? There is no none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, right? So uh, we we'll quickly you, you read this as well. Oh, this is uh, Second Ezra two forty five says. In fact, let me start. At 42 says, I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs, right? And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than on, on, than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Right? So this is a future prophecy right? about how, you know, you know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? This is a future prophecy of how he's going to crown the elect, right? He says, uh, so goes on to say, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered me and said, these be they, once the angel saying, these be they, right, that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, right, and confessed the name of the Most High, right? And now are they crowned and received palms, right? So, you know, that's, that's, you know, critical, you know, you get guys saying we don't know the name of the Lord, you know, this, that, and the other, it says, no, you know, these be they that have confessed the name of the Most High, <laughs> it says, and now are they crowned and receive palms, right, so if the, if, you know, if you're, you know, destined for salvation, right, then you will know the name of the Lord, right, you, you know, it is said that you, you, you will call on the name of the Lord, right, let me look for that, So this is both Acts 2.21 and Romans 10.13 more or less saying the same thing. So Acts 2.21 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Israel shall be saved. Right? And it goes on to say, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. So whoever from, you know, the uh, from the children of Israel, right, that calls on the name of the Lord. And, you know, it's not just, uh, you know, calling. It's not just, you know, saying the words. Uh, I can remember how it's phrased. Uh, so I'm just like many. Uh, 
you know, I'm looking for the scriptures. That basically, it says, um, you know, many shall call on me, saying, Lord, Lord. You know, but then, you know, the Lord will respond and say, I have not known thee. Right? You know, so it's not just a thing of just saying the name. Right? It's all about having the belief. Right? As the scripture says in Hebrews 11 and 6. Right? It says, uh, but without faith, it is impossible for you to please him. Right? So, you know, faith is a key and fundamental thing. Right? You can't please the Lord without faith. You get people saying, well, how do you know the name of the Lord? Right, you know, we know it through faith, but we know it can't be any of the ones that you know are, are popularized in the world, you know, Jehovah, Yahweh, you know, whatever, what have you, right? Because of this scripture, it's Malachi 1 14, the point is at the end, it says, But cursed be the deceiver which hath, hath in his flock a male and voweth and sacrifice unto the Lord a corrupt thing, right? For I am a great king, saith uh, Yahweh of hosts, and my name is. Dreadful among the heathen. Right, so we know we, it won't be a name that the Lord. So it won't be a name. One of the names that the heathen have. Would you call it torn to say? Is it damn sure ain't Jesus? Right, that ain't the name of the Son. Right, damn sure ain't Jesus. Right, Yeshua. Right, the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, as we spoke about earlier. And the name of the Father is Yahweh. Right, so we know it can't have come from. You know the heathen because the name is dreadful among the heathen which is why you know those imposters that have stolen our identity go around saying hashem 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 which in the hebrew is the name literally means the name right so it's but without faith is it it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him right? so you got to not only call on the name you got to believe on the name right you know when you when you, when you put prayers up, you put prayers up in the name of Yahweh, right? Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Which is Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, right? You know, I'll just type it in for you here. Yahweh Bar in her the Shem name Yahweh Shai, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, the Father in the name of the Son, right? says uh yeah believe that he is and then he's a reward of them that diligently seek him right but then i have to get this right um this is ephesians 2 and 4 why right? says uh 2 and 4 2 and 8 says for by, by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is a it is the gift of the most high right which ultimately is why not everyone can believe and have faith in the name because it is not for them to believe why? Because it says, uh, you know, uh, faith is a gift given to you by the Most High. One of those things you would have faith on, right, is, you know, what the name really is, right? Like I said, you got guys over there in IUIC, Israel United in Christ, right? You know, a name moves around like someone united in Christ, right? We're united, you know, the children of, you know, um, you know, the one whom the Lord has... Uh, basically woken up the right way you know from you know you know from the teachings of you know the apostles on down and from you know their teachers whatever right and we you know we're united right you know i'll speak for the men of gms we're united you know in the name of yahweh shai right scriptures say you know we should speak one thing and you know we do speak one thing you know in the name of yahweh shai right you know let them you know i forgot how how it's worded but basically let no be um at their you know division among you right um so let me grab this proverbs 18 and 10 says so the name of yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run into it and is safe right you know and then a brothers can attest you know put, put prayers in the name of yahweh and the lord answered their prayers right you know and, and uh yeah so I believe i have covered everything i wanted to cover Yeah, so, you know, what's in the name? If it's the name of the Father, the name of the Son, then salvation. Right, so, like I said, just a quick one. And, um, yeah, to the next time, we'll say, sure what?